Well, we reviewed a bunch of different ways to loft in the last video, but we have a big glaring problem that these ducts should be hollow and this one is not. So let's make it hollow in this video with something called shell. So we have our duct, it is not hollow, and I'll start by using my shell tool. When I click the shell tool, this menu comes up and it asks me for faces to remove, and I can enter a standard thickness. I like a standard thickness of 0.2 for now. So I'll click on faces to remove, and then I'll click on this front face. And when this face is removed, you can see that all the other faces are brought to a thickness of our standard thickness of 0.2. I also have the option to shell outward, and if I click this option, then I can actually bring the thickness to the outside of the part instead of the inside of the part. But I like shelling um, inward, and I think that's usually standard for most shelling applications. But keep in mind you do have the option to shell outward, which can be handy particularly if you have a geometry condition that shelling inward will not work for. Not only can I remove a face and make everything else point to, but I can remove multiple faces. So let's select on my faces to remove again, and I can select my rear face, and that will leave all the other faces at a standard thickness of 0.2, but allow the front and rear of our uh, ductwork to be able to flow air through. So I can say OK to that and see that I've created the ductwork that I wish. But there's a few other tools that might be handy. When shelling or working with other features, we may want to modify our view to look at the part in a section. Perhaps, for instance, I would like to hide half of the part over the YZ plane. I can do that by clicking on inspect and I can choose activate YZ here and there I've created a section view of my part. I can always undo the view by clicking on activate YZ again and I can section it of course across each of the planes. With this new view that we can view in sections I can edit my shell I can remove one of my faces and as you can tell we're bottoming again and I can choose an override. Perhaps I want this face down here to be much thicker than my standard thickness. I'll select my face here and you'll see it comes in with my default 0.2 but I can change my thickness to something like 0.5 and click on the face and now my override says 0.5 in thickness, I'll say OK. And my section view shows that while these walls are 0.2, this bottom face is much more thick at 0.5. So we can choose a variable thickness when we go to shell our parts. And as always, I can go to inspect and deactivate my view if I so desire. I can always delete my shell if I wish to remove an item from the history tree. Or I can also simply redo my shell at 0.2 and 0.2 for a standard thickness part, which is what I'm after for this model. Well, we've covered shell there and we have a somewhat realistic looking duct. However, let's talk about some more lofting options that you may need to know depending on what you want to make. Let's do it in the next video.